Hello, I'm Gerhard Prager and I want to welcome you here from the ESCO 23 meeting in Chicago. I want to focus on two topics which were presented here at this ESCO meeting, focusing on neoadjuvant treatment for rectal cancer. One was the update of the Brodich 23 study. So you might remember this was a phase three randomized study uh, with the experimental arm of six cycles of Folfoxiri before chemo radiation, TME, and then adjuvant treatment. This was compared to the so far standard treatment of chemo radiation and TME and adjuvant treatment. The long term follow up, uh, seven years follow up, did show that there was a superiority in the overall survival, in the cancer specific survival, as well as in the disease free survival for patients treated with the a neoadjuvant uh, treatment concept of um, aggressive triple chemotherapy for three months. I think this is an important study uh, showing that uh, if you put the systemic treatment before chemo radiation and before surgery, the outcome is superior even in the long term follow up. Another study was presented at this year's ESCO meeting, the so called PROSPECT study. In the prospect study, which was also a clinical phase three trial, almost 1,200 patients were considered with rectal cancer. The uh, tumors were either low risk, intermediate risk, or some of them locally advanced, but there were no high risk uh, tumors. Uh, the concept considered six cycles of full Fox treatment. And if there was a good response, meaning a regression of 20% or more, no chemo radiation was provided to these patients uh, before a TME. And only if there was a regression less than 20% chemo radiation was possible. Indeed, in this interesting concept, only 9% of patients with the neoadjuvant treatment needed chemo radiation. And this was compared in this randomized study to the so far standard chemo radiation going to TME in the adjuvant treatment. Uh, it was very uh, interesting to see that the selective use of chemo radiation in the experimental arm was not inferior uh, when compared to the so far standard treatment of chemo radiation in the new adjuvant setting. But even more importantly, there were less long term uh, toxicity and there were, of course, for those patients with no chemo radiation, no radiotherapy induced uh, toxicity when it comes to a fecal uh, incontinence or sexual dysfunction, infertility, or pelvic fractures. So, with these two uh, interesting uh, abstracts, which were presented at this year's ESCO meetings focusing on rectal cancer, I think uh, we have uh, new uh, concepts for the clinical use. Uh, and uh, we might uh, be less aggressive and we can choose patients. We have more choice of the uh, individual treatment when we have the individual treatment aim for our patients. So thank you so much for your attention.